Emily here from Biz BFF, also from Fresh Paper Studios, and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how you can make your own social media image templates in Canva without upgrading to the paid version Canva for Work. Now, uh, Canva for Work is awesome for a bunch of reasons, but if we're on a budget and we don't want to pay the $12.95 a month, um, then there is a way that you can still make templates without upgrading to the paid version. So I'm going to show you really quickly. We're just going to go in here. I'm in the create a design page here on Canva. Let's see over here, create a design. And I'm just going to click, I'm clicking on Instagram image. You can choose any template size you want or create your own, use your own dimensions. It um, doesn't matter. This works for anything. It works for uh, flyers, for postcards, for business cards, for Facebook posts, for Instagram posts, anything. So I'm just going to really quickly um, use a photo. I'll, uh, this is a stock photo that I got from death to the stock photo.com and I love it and um, so I'm I just plopped that over here on my canvas and I stretched it out to fill the whole thing and now the methods that I'm going to use, you don't have to do this. You can make your template look however you want it to look. The key is I'm going to show you how to save it and then use it over and over again as a template. But uh, really quickly, I'll just show, you know, I like to do, um, throw a colored overlay on there and make it so I'm, I'm gonna use a square and if you oh see if you go slowly it'll sort of snap into place in the center and you get these those purple lines to show that it's centered and let's say I want to make this pink and I'm gonna make it a little bit transparent so we can still see our woman back there rocking it and I'm going to go over here and add some text. I There's all sorts of different text templates that we can use if you're doing a promotion or something. That might be especially fun to use one of these. Um, I'm going to do a quote, so I'm just going to add a little bit of body text. And if you're like me and can't remember a quote to save your life, then have a place where you save them. I'm just going to use text edit here. I'm going to use this Amy Puller quote. And so you can just go over here. I'm pressing command C to copy or you can go edit copy. And then I'm coming back over to Canva and I'm going to press command V to paste. Get my quote back in there. And then this is too small, right? So I need to make it bigger. And I don't know, 36, bigger, 48. Yeah, that looks good. And see again, that purple line's popping up to tell me I'm centered. And let's see. I'm gonna. Mom, you're just talking to the. I'm. I'm not talking to the person in the picture. I'm I'm talking to the computer. I'm making a video. That's my daughter in the background helping me out. Um, so if you find after you add your text, I made it white. I like how that looks. If you find that it gets a little distracting with the picture behind, you can adjust the transparency. You know, that kind of fades the photo out a little more, makes your quote stand out. You can change your font to something Perhaps that fits, stands out a little more. And then let's not forget to give credit where credit's due. Um, this is an Amy Puller quote. And, whoopsie, 
There we go. Why are you talking? You had to fight this thing. And let's make that really big too. And then I want to. So I think this would be cute to put her name in a block. Also, you know, this is something I do all the time. I put on the word and then I decide I want to block under it um, and notice the block goes on top. That's what this little back forward business is about. So I'm going to click back. I'm going to make sure this is centered here. Um, and I think I'm going to make that white or green. Okay, I kind of like it green. Let's do that. Um, there we go. So um, so let's say, okay, so we've got our, I'm going to make this smaller. It's just like watching me mess around. Um, okay. Move it off so it's in there. There we go. Okay. Um, so now let's say I want to do maybe every week I want to put a different quote up, and this is the template that I want to use. When I save this, it is going to have this title. The title, the design no, title is, is the entire quote. And I, that is not going to be easy for me to find later. So I'm going to call it, um, quote template square. So that when any, whenever I want to do a quote with the same style and I want it to be square, I'm going to look for this. So now to download it, I would click download. And I would click either image for web to do a JPEG or high quality image PNG. What's a JPEG? That's what I tend to do. It's a type of file. Um, I tend to do PNG. I like the resolution better. Um, plus, with large blocks of color, it seems to turn out better. Um, I'm going to go to save. And then. Here is the key. So I've saved this. You're thinking, Emily, this is just like any other time I make a Canva image. You have not done, all you did was call it template. Here's the magic. I'm going to save. And then I am going to go back to my main Canva dashboard. And here it says, quote, template square. And it's not showing it. Um, and that is because whenever I'm recording my screen, uh, things take a little extra time to load. So you can't see it right now. But um, I'm going to drag this over. I know it looks like I'm talking to myself. Over to this folder called Templates. And with the free version, you get to have two folders. So you can click here, Add a New Folder, and create a folder called Templates. So... Oops, I went to my trash. I just want to go to templates. I want to go to all my designs and drag this over into templates. So now, whenever you log into Canva, you can keep all your templates in one place. And then here is key number two. You've saved it. You've called it a template. But instead of going in to edit it and then download it, you're going to press this arrow here and click make a copy. And that is the one you're gonna edit. So when you, when it opens up, it says copy of quote template, give it its own name, new cool quote by someone else, you know, whatever it is. Um, we'll do, you're just talking to yourself, mom, which is Olivia's quote for me, and I can switch the photo. Oops. 
and it goes to the back there. And I can make that a little more transparent. I can even, you know, I can change this color. I can change anything I want and it won't um, alter that original one at all. So, you know, if I go to save and then I go back to Canva, you can see I still have my quote template and then I have my new quote. I wish it would show, I wish it would show them. Um, and now these are both in my templates folder because I created the copy while it's in my templates folder. So since this one's not a template, you know, maybe you keep that in your other, oh, it doesn't get, it doesn't take it out of that folder. Remove from templates, that's what you wanna do. So there you go. That is how you make a template and how you organize your templates in Canva without paying for the fancy Canva for work. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, leave any comments below with questions. I'm happy to help. Again, I'm Emily from BizBFF, and very soon you will be able to find tutorials and advice at bizbff.com. Thanks.